a big area of unmet need in myeloid fibrosis, um, aside from anemia, which was addressed in this Congress, to some extent with the data, really exciting data from the Momentum study, Another major area of unmet need is the thrombocytopenic patient. And recently we've seen the FDA approve picritinib or Vonjo uh, for patients with um, thrombocytopenia, specifically platelets less than 50. So, But there were some very interesting data presented at the EHA meeting concerning the relative efficacy and also safety of picritinib against ruxolitinib. And there was also um, an appraisal and systematic review actually also comparing pacritinib with fedratinib in the low platelet setting. So as this is an area of challenging of challenge clinically, I found this data very compelling. So for pacritinib, there was a comparison of the safety and outcomes for patients in the PERSIST-2 trial, which was specifically for patients with platelets less than 100 where some patients on the control arm were treated with roxolitinib. And there was also a look at the safety and outcomes from the PAC-203 study, which was a non-randomized study. And um, basically, um, what this data shows is that pacritinib has a good safety profile in these patients. There were no MACE events, and there was no difference in the rates of bleeding between pacritinib and roxolitinib. And efficacy for pacritinib looked superior to roxolitinib, although statistically it was not so for all of those outcomes. So I think this is really reassuring data for those of us who are able to prescribe picritinib in this setting. Interestingly, just to reference that work that was um, uh, commissioned, I think, by B uh, Bristol Myers Squibb to look at uh, fedratinib in, in this setting, um, the, the data which was presented by uh, Trembley as a first author does also suggest that um, fedratinib may well also have some efficacy in this area. And lastly, while we're on the topic of low platelets, um, actually there was a sub-analysis of the Momentum study uh, presented at this Congress by Jean-Jacques Kalajan and at ASCO by Aaron Gerds, actually showing that um, momolotinib also has efficacy, at least in the momentum study for patients with platelets between 25 and 50. And in the Simplify 2 study, which was the second line study with momolotinib, we didn't have a lower bound for platelet count for patients to enter that study. So actually there's emerging data supporting the use of many of these agents uh, for thrombocytopenic patients, but the most robust data probably exists at the present time for pacritinib, which fits with its recent approval.